guys welcome back to my channel so, by the way sorry that I'm not like wearing any makeup or anything but I just got my feel unique order in the mail and I wanted to do an unboxing of it because it arrived in this little bag that says received in bad condition at Hawaii Kai Station Honolulu Hawaii 96825 that's what it looks like and this you can tell used to be a box which is now a flattened parcel that um, is actually too bad because it contains the Tanya Burr eyeshadow palette. So let's open this up. And here is the pathetic excuse for a box. <laughs> I mean, this is just, look at the tape has come off there. It is so flattened. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Even the peanuts are completely flattened. How crazy is that? Okay, so why does this feel wet? It feels like it got like soaked. All right, so the first thing in here, it says feel the love. Yeah, this definitely got really wet because all of the paper and stuff is wet on here too. And it's just basically like a brochure to shop at Feel Unique. And then my receipt, oh my gosh, this is all so stuck together. This is the receipt um, that shows that I purchased the Emma Hardy set. Oh, this doesn't have the Tanya Burr eyeshadow in it. It's just the Tom Emma Hardy set. Okay, so I got a couple samples in here. The first is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cream and some sort of, what does this say? It's like found, tinted foundation. Oh, these peanuts are ridiculous. One is in 01 light and one is in 02 medium and they're samples and this is the other sample with lots of flattened peanuts. I hope that the Tanya Burr one doesn't arrive like this. And then in this bag, the box is now empty. Louis, please don't eat that stuff. <laughs> is supposed to be the Emma Hardy set that I purchased. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, and it looks just like this. I like that it's in a bag, so hopefully it's not all damaged. Don't eat that, no, no. So hopefully it's not all damaged. And it says on here, Emma Hardy Essential Collection contains 50 mil Moringa Cleansing Balm with Cloth, a 30 mil brilliant Brilliance Face Oil, 15 mil Moringa Face Exfoliator, and 15 mil Rejuvenating Night, Night Cream. So let's open it up, pull out the stuffing, and you can see it's got everything in there. So the first thing we have here is the Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. I have wanted to try this since I saw Anna Sacconi Jolie talk about it. And then I started watching like reviews. Ah, it's all oily. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna close this up for a minute because there's a lot of oil on the top there. That's lovely. <laughs> um, and then, there is the Amazing Face Moringa Facial Exfoliator. Looks like this. And then we have the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Brilliance Facial Oil, and it's in a box. Oh wow, this is like a huge amount. I thought this was gonna be like a small, tiny travel size bottle, but that's like, I mean, that's like the size of the Estee Lauder face oils face serums and then we have what's this the Emma Hardy amazing face rejuvenating night cream didn't we already already have no this is the facial exfoliator this is the night cream and then uh, the wash cloth I have been wanting one of these just to feel it I'm so sorry the gardeners are here and our air conditioner is running nearby because it's hot and we finally, hopefully got it fixed. We'll see the second time. Oh my gosh, it's like a microfiber cloth. So it's a microfiber cloth on this side and then on this side it's just like, almost like a, um, you know the cloth diapers that they have for babies? It kind of feels like that, like just really, um, like a cotton washcloth. 
but that is what it looks like. I was kind of hoping it would be like embroidered with the EH instead of just a tag, but you know, whatever, that's life. We take what we can get. But I'm so glad none of this stuff was damaged in the mail. And I also like the bag. This will be a handy little travel makeup bag because it is um, like the plastic on the outside and on the inside, it's just a little uh, slick, like almost like plasticky type liner. So if you had foundation or something spill in there, you could clean it up really easy. And it's like massive. This is a fairly good size bag. So yeah, I don't know why I'm like, look at this, it's like a hat. But anyways, yeah, so this is the new Emma Hardy. Well, it's not new, but for me it's new. Emma Hardy Essential Collection. I wanted to get this because it was 57 US or 42 pounds. And the reason I wanted it was because I really wanted to try the Emma Hardy products because like I said, Anna Saccone Jolie uses them. But I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it if I wasn't going to like it. So because everyone's skin is different and I have pretty sensitive dry skin. So um, I have to be careful about some of the products that I end up using. So I'm super, super excited to try this out. I can't wait to do a review for you guys. Oh, still oil everywhere. <laughs> and um, this is just like the sample travel size. Um, this is not if you buy it in real life, like the full size one, it's not the full size one. So yeah, I will be doing a review on those and so you can watch for that. Actually, you know what? I will make this an unboxing slash first review. So I will use it tonight and tomorrow morning and film and let you guys know what I think. Okay, please excuse the state of my bathroom and my crying dog, Charlie's crying just because He's hoping I'll give him a treat, but anyways, uh, it is nighttime, so I am going to be using um, the Amer Amazing Phase Moringa Cleansing Balm and Perfectly Balanced Cleansing for Skin. It doesn't really have directions. I'm assuming I'm just going to take some and just rub it into my skin. I watched a video on this a while ago after I decided that I was going to purchase it. And just so you know, I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit. You can see if it'll focus on it. Let's see. You can see I'm just kind of lightly swiping it and getting some onto my fingers. Whoops. Uh, but when I decided I wanted to buy this, I just watched a video they have on their website about using it. And if I remember correctly, which I should have watched again put it over my eyebrows because I didn't use makeup remover um, you just kind of gently swipe it over your face don't quote me on that though because I didn't watch it again and there's no directions which is strange it smells it doesn't smell bad but it doesn't have heavy fragrance which is good for me because I suffer from really sensitive skin so heavy fragrance isn't good for me. I'm just going to use the cleansing cloth. I'm starting with the microfiber side and I'm just going to get it damp. So I'm just going to get it damp and wipe my skin. I love how soft this cloth is. This cloth is amazing. Oh my gosh. I cannot even tell you guys how amazing this cloth is. It's like ridiculous how soft. It just feels so smooth. And what's interesting is the only makeup I wore today was on my eyebrows. And that was very, very little. And yet... You can see I still had some mascara from yesterday, <laughs> which I try to really cleanse every night before I go to bed, but yeah, that is crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to, that was the Emma Hardy Moringa, Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. 
which like I said doesn't smell bad but it doesn't have like any real heavy fragrance to it if I can think of what it smells like I'll tell you um, I like how it goes on so smooth and easy and it has a little bit of like oil to it because I have really dry skin so that's helpful and also if you're removing like makeup and stuff you want something that's oil based um so let's see amazing face moringa facial exfoliator apply to fully cleansed face avoid avoiding the delicate eye area add a small water a, add a small amount of water to moshpa use gently circular movements to exfoliate the skin for approximately one minute remove the product with warm water and pat dry so we will add this small amount I'm not sure what they mean by small amount, so I'm doing like pea-sized amount. I have a massive face though, because I have such a big, big head. I may end up needing more. What? God, I want to place that smell because I can't remember what it is. I mean, like I said, it's not a bad scent or anything. It just, it smells very natural. You know how like a lot of the natural things on the market right now, uh, you can just, it has like a natural, maybe it's, it's like sandalwood or something. I don't know. It smells good though. I can always use an exfoliator on my forehead because that's where my foundation really tends to like crack and like right here along my hairline it never blends correctly and I always feel like if I just exfoliate more it'll actually stay. Take this under here. I'm not too worried about my neck and jaw because I didn't wear makeup today but I did shower twice so. And then I'm going to just take that same cloth, but I'm just going to use the other side of it. Oh, I saw that Feel Unique has the cleansing cloths, a pack of three for I think $20. I'm totally going to buy more of these and I'm probably going to give them out as Christmas gifts too because they're so amazing. And pretty much everyone in my family has the same skin. It's like dry, sensitive skin. The only one that doesn't is my sister-in-law, and she's obviously not genetically related, but she has uh, really oily skin. But I also know that Anna Sacconi Jolie, who I bought this whole set because she recommended it, was uh, she suffers from acne-prone, oily skin. So I'm going to maybe get her this for Christmas because I think she would really like it. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to pat our face, and then we are moving on to, uh, okay, so the face oil and the face cream, I don't know which comes first. Hmm, oh my gosh, my skin feels so good right now. Um... I know that typically like serums come after moisturizers, so we're gonna do the cream first. So this is the Amazing Face Rejuvenating Night Cream. And it says to add a generous amount and work it into the skin until absorbed. Yeah, this stuff is sm literally smells like, you know when you go to a spa and get like, I always go over my eyes by the way, not like hard, but just lightly. But anyways, um, you know when you go to a spa and get a massage and some of the products that they use, like it's very like earthy smelling that I think is the best word I could find to describe it, earthy. 
my nose always gets so dry and red mostly because there's like such little skin on there okie dokie now moving on to the oil which again I mean I am so surprised the size of this oil is just insane this thing is massive so this says apply a few drops onto cleanse skin gently smooth over with fingertips until it says filly but I think they mean fully absorbed <laughs> focusing on areas with fine lines and wrinkles best used morning and night so I'm going to take a few drops of this oh, dripping out and it said that it's best used on areas that have fine lines and wrinkles so I am going to add a tiny bit on the outer edge and underneath my eyes and work this just up a little towards my brow bone I can honestly say sorry about my dog but I can honestly say a little of this really goes a long way I'm like kind of struggling to work in what I ended up pulling out because it's quite moisturizing my skin's like oh my gosh this is amazing but I don't know if I'm that thirsty go over your brows so many people forget to go over their brows but you have to remember their skin underneath there too take this down the neck oh I actually love this stuff I can tell you someone said that this was going to be enough for a month this in no way is ever going to be enough for a month's worth of use but um, I'm a hundred percent gonna buy full size of all of this plus I'm gonna buy extra cleansing cloths because I use two cloths a day um, which normally I was just buying them from Ross but I mean this cleansing cloth is like amazing so yeah I am so happy that I bought this and Anna Sacconi Jolie I know you're probably not watching this but if you are thank you so much for introducing me to this because it is amazing and Caroline Herons because her blog is amazing and I also saw her talking about the Emma Hardy stuff a while ago so oh it's so nice I can't stop touching my face which I know I should I'm just gonna rub the leftover stuff that I have on the back of my hands which you should always do I'm gonna throw them some lip balm and go to sleep it didn't come with an eye cream but I use some of the oil and I mean you can always add your own eye cream or purchase an eye cream if Emma Hardy has one so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can get all the pictures and the links on my blog, which is always listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!